Welcome to the Vertica Community Edition VM. In this video, we'll show you how to use the VM for a hands-on introduction to the Vertica Analytic Database. The VM offers a free, quick, and easy way to get started. First, the big picture about Vertica. Vertica is an analytic database designed from the ground up for the fast processing of big data. Vertica speaks SQL and is part of an ecosystem of partner products that delivers the power of Vertica through visualizations data movement, data transformation, IoT, and more. The Vertica CEVM is a pre-configured Linux environment that you can download and run on your computer. It's available in two distribution formats, Open Virtualization Format for Oracle VirtualBox and VMX Format for VMware. All you need is a VM player that supports the OVA or VMX format and at least 20 gig of available disk space. In the VM, you'll find everything up and running. You'll find a single node installation of Vertica Community Edition with the VMart Example Database, Vertica Management Console, the Vertica Administration Tools and vSQL, and a user guide that will walk you through a series of exercises using the client tools. To download the VM, go to vertica.com and click Download Community Edition. Log in or create an account. On the download page, take a look at the short installation guide, which explains the download and startup process. Note that the VM user guide is also posted here. Check it out if you'd like to preview the tutorial exercises that you will find in the VM. Click the download link for the VM distribution that matches your VM player. When you open the VM in your VM player, you'll see the login screen. Log in as the Vertica DBA. The password is the word password, all lowercase. In fact, all the passwords in the VM are the same, so whenever you run into a password request, just type password. The first time you log in, you'll see a welcome message. When you dismiss the browser window, you'll see the desktop. At this point, it's a good idea to download the Vertica documentation and load it into the VM. Instructions are in the user guide. When the documentation is loaded, you'll have everything you need inside the VM. The tutorial exercises in the VM include links to the local documentation, so you'll be able to find more information as you go along. Next, we'll show you a sampling of the tutorial exercises you'll find in the VM User Guide. You'll start with Management Console. Vertica Management Console is a user-friendly database monitoring and management tool that runs in a browser. To start Management Console, click the icon on the desktop and log in as UIDB Admin. Remember that the password is password. Following the tutorial exercises, you will start by clicking the Infrastructure button to display the Databases and Clusters page. You'll click VMart, then View to display the Overview page for VMart. The speedometer displays the System Health dashboard. The bar chart displays the Query Synopsis dashboard. The tabs along the bottom of the page give you an idea of the wide range of functionality that is available to you in Management Console. On the License tab, you'll see that VMart is in compliance with the terms of its license. The Vertica Community Edition allows up to a terabyte of free storage and has no expiration date. In addition to its system management features, Management Console offers a comprehensive framework for running, analyzing, and optimizing queries. On the Query Execution tab, you'll find a Query History window preloaded with sample queries. The User Guide will show you many query execution features, including how to generate query profiles and execution plans. The next set of exercises will introduce you to Vertica Administration Tools. Admin Tools supports most database administration tasks and also includes a vSQL window. Admin Tools runs in a Linux shell and supports both a graphical and a command line interface. To start the graphical interface, open a terminal window and type admin tools. On the main menu are options for viewing the state of the database, starting and stopping the database, and connecting to the database. There's a configuration menu and an advanced menu. As a newcomer, you'll probably want to pay special attention to the help option. The exercises will walk you through some of the system admin features in the graphical interface and will show you how to use the command line interface, which is especially useful for scripting. Last but not least, the user guide will introduce you to vSQL. 
vSQL is a character-based interactive utility that lets you type SQL statements and see the results. vSQL also provides meta commands and various shell-like features for writing scripts and automating various tasks. To get started, open a Linux command prompt and cd to the directory that contains the vSQL examples. Then start vSQL and type password. For your convenience, the vSQL examples come preloaded in the history buffer. So instead of typing, you can just press the up arrow. To display a list of vSQL commands, type backslash question mark. The backslash indicates a vSQL meta command. It tells vSQL to directly execute what follows instead of passing it on to the SQL engine. Another example of a meta command is backslash D, which displays a list of tables. The VM preloads all the VMART example data except the online sales fact table and its two unique dimensions. The user guide will show you how to run a script to load the missing data. This command displays the contents of the script. This command runs the script and loads the data. The Vertica Community Edition VM is a great way to start learning about Vertica. For further exploration, check out these resources. Thanks for watching, and welcome to Vertica.